So in this chapter, we're studying populations and things that influence population density, their dispersion or how they're spread out, as well as their demographics. So when we look at populations, what we're really looking at is how the biotic factors and abiotic factors influence these characteristics. So for example, biotic factors would be competition for resources, competing with other species as well as with each other. You have predators, you have um, food like prey or plants if you're a carnivore or herbivore, and then as well as the abiotic factors. So the weather and uh, predictable climate patterns could influence the range of an organism. You could look at the incidence of fire or floods or wind or soil quality, how much rocks is there, what's the availability of water, how about space. All of those things are abiotic that will also influence the density, distribution, and size of a population. So when we look at a population, we're talking about the same species in a defined area. So that's what that little beige circle represents, like I've defined the area. And these, these members of the same population rely on the same resources. They're influenced by similar environmental factors, so they're dealing with the same type of weather, the same type of soil, the same type of predators, and they're also likely to interact and breed together. Now when we look at populations, we're going to focus a bit right here on the size of a population. And things that in increase the size of the population would be both births and immigration. So both of these are going to add individuals to a population, where deaths and emigration are going to reduce or remove members of a population. So when we look at immigration and emigration, this oftentimes has to do with finding resources. So if they're moving into an area, maybe because there's abundant resources or potential mates, and emigration, looking for resources or looking for mates. So one of the things that, one of the characteristics that can describe populations is population density. In population density, you're counting the number of individuals per unit of area or volume. So here you have like hectares. So if I were to count the density, in this hectare I'd have two pine trees per hectare. Here I'd have nine per hectare. And then here I would have four per hectare. Now scientists or ecologists can use this to study a population and, um, uh, yeah, use it to study population and make inferences about it. Now the, another characteristics of populations is the dispersion or how they're spread out. So when we look at dispersion, this is the pattern of spacing among individuals, oops, sorry, among individuals in a population. So when we look at dispersion, oops, so oh, sorry.